you're a professional or enthusiast iPhone photographer, chances are you've heard of a little app called Darkroom. And if you haven't, let me quickly bring you up to speed. Darkroom is an iOS photo editing app that calls itself the most well-designed, integrated, and powerful editing app for iOS. With their brand new 4.0 update, I'd like to find out if that's true. The first thing you'll notice about Darkroom is how beautiful the user interface is. It's dark, sleek, and it's simple. I would say it's intuitive, but if you're not familiar with photo editing apps, there will be a learning curve. The icons for the most part are well designed, which means if you think the slider button is going to bring you into the sliders, well, it will. These small details make a big difference for editing apps. The last thing you want to be doing is fumbling around. You want to tweak and experiment without getting frustrated, and Darkroom definitely delivers here. It's a blast jumping through this app, playing with filters, your hue saturation, and even adding borders or frames. It's complicated in that it has a lot, but it's simple enough that it doesn't feel daunting. This is one thing that Visco has like yet to figure out. Visco is almost too simple that for some people it can actually become too complicated. Darkroom doesn't do anything particularly new, it just does it well. It has all the bells and whistles you'd want in a professional photo editor. It has an extensive library of filters ranging from retro film looks to more modern tones, and then it has all the granular adjustments you'd want to really make your image unique. One thing I really like is the RGB curves. I can't think of another iOS photo app that has this, and it's something I didn't know I wanted until I got the chance to play with it. Something I think is invaluable in a photo editing app is the ability to create custom presets. Darkroom calls them filters, but essentially it means once you settle on a look you really like, you can save it as a one-tap formula for future edits. This ensures your edits are consistent, and we all know consistency is key for a great Instagram account. Speaking of Instagram, there's a feature that Darkroom offers hidden in settings. So if you dive into the settings, you'll notice they have banks of hashtag sets. When you export your photo, the hashtag set is automatically copied to the clipboard and all you have to do is paste it into Instagram. Okay, if you couldn't tell already, I like this app a lot. It's only day one really diving into it, but I can confidently say that once I recreate my looks from Visco entirely into Darkroom, it will be my one and only editing app. So to answer the question, is Darkroom the most well-designed, integrated, and powerful editing app for iOS? Thanks so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that sub button. Like this video if you did actually like it and drop a comment with your go-to editing app. We'll see you soon. Cheers.